and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shaw, physical therapist. Brad Hannick, physical therapist. Together we're the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. This video is part of a series on plantar fasciitis. It's called, this particular video is called The Five Things Anyone with Plantar Fasciitis Should Do Every Morning. There's also a printout that you can find on sure. our website. All right, the telltale signs of plantar fi fasciitis is pain after rest. And the reason for that is the belief is that there's tears that have occurred, yep. yes, in the plantar fascia, and they start to heal. They begin to half heal overnight mm -hmm. or when you're sitting in your chair. You stand up and start to walk, and it breaks them open again. Right. And the process has to start all over again. Because overnight, the, the fascia actually tightens up a little bit with time, and then that quick stretch when you put weight on it, uh, it's painful. Yeah, and that's the sign that everybody mentions mm -hmm. when they have plantar fasciitis. Mm -hmm. So what, the, for, these are the five things you're going to want to do. Um, uh, two of them for sure. If you have a lot of time, or I should say three of them for sure. Two of them, uh, if you don't have time, you can you can always. You're gonna have uh, to set your alarm for. Five yeah, you're gonna set earlier. your alarm. Yeah. <laughs> so the first one is so remember the plantar uh, fascia uh, extends from the heel all the way up into the toes. You want to stretch this before you even get out of bed. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab all the toes, kind of with your hand like this, and pull it forward like that. So I'm bending the ankle, and I'm bending the toes, and I'm stretching the fascia. You can probably see that even. Can you see that, Mike? Yeah, you can probably see that the fascia is being stretched that way. So, you know, a good, um, I'm not sure what I'm recommending on the sheet for how many seconds to do this. Why don't you look it up, Brad, and okay. I'll, while I'm going ahead and do the, ne the next one. So you're gonna do, oh, I'm sorry, I have it, Brad, never mind. Five times and hold for 20 seconds. Okay. Five times you're gonna do this, Hold for 20 seconds. Be gentle on the first one. It might, might right, be a painful. Right. Now, if you're in a chair, the, you know, and you've been sitting for a while, you're going to want to do the same thing. You're sure. going to want to stretch it before you start walking. Right. All right. The next one, Brad, you're going to show the massage. Ah, uh, like yes. So if you're in bed, you know, you're just going to. You could do it a number of ways, yeah. Yeah. Typically, probably the, the best way is just bring your foot up like this and. You know, as long as you can get in this position. And, and I'm going to show the, what we call a splaying. And you just thumbs together and then you spread out like this and stretching the skin. You're really pushing in. Can you get into that, Mike, and see what's, so you can see what's going on? If you can't do a laying down, you can do it on the edge of the bed like I was doing it. Sure. But, um, yep. And generally the sore spot is right in here. Yep. So Brad's often you want to work this area first. And if you can tolerate working in this area, but you may not even be able to, right. to handle that the first couple of times. Yep. Should we go into the... Uh, yeah. More of a circular. Yep. I like to use my knuckles just because yep. it's, it's easier. You can use your thumbs or your knuckles. Yep. It's like this, the, the thumb knuckle. You'll, you'll know how to work with them a bit because if, if you just go like this, that works too, but your fingers will get tired because you got to push in. You got to work the tissues under the skin, get into that fascia. We want to increase circulation, stretch it out. All those things help the healing process. Again, with time as, as a factor, we usually say one to two minutes. Yep. You can do it longer, obviously, but- uh, Typically your hands or fingers will get tired. Right. Brad, while you're in that position, you want to go ahead and show the next one. Now this again, I'd like you to be doing this one, but if you can't do it every time, you can't do it every time. So uh, you can go ahead and do a calf. Oh, sure. A calf stretch and a hamstring stretch at the same time, right. basically, you can. So you can use a belt. It's handy, typically, in the bedroom. Yep, look how he's going around the forefoot there. Yep. Oops. There we go. And I'm stretching, stretching it. The calf, and he's stretching the hamstring yep. here. And if I straighten my knee, you even get a better hamstring. And uh, depending on your, your nerve floss, you might get a little bit of a, a nerve stretch. That's a little different pain. Yeah, so 30 seconds to a minute, yeah. um, you, and here's a towel, bread or a yeah. sheet might work better. Um, there you go. There we go. So you're going to have to have these things obviously by the bed before you even start. <laughs> Otherwise, you're yep. going to walk and you're going to break it open before you even, <laughs> right. you know, before the day's even started. All right, next one, Brad, this is probably a better one to do off the edge of the bed, yep. would be... You know, basically just to do the alphabet. And this is going to warm your foot up, uh, warm the ankle up. 
So Brad, you mentioned before you take a, it's like you, you've taped a marker to the big toe. Yep. Imagine you, you taped a, a Sharpie or a piece of chalk to your big toe and there's a blackboard, whiteboard, whatever in front of your foot and you're going to make a capital A. Like you're drawing it and cross it, and then a B. And the only reason we do that is because you get a complete range of motion with your foot, and it gives you something to think about. It's just a really nice way to get range of motion on the foot, which does stretch that uh, fascia a little more as well, preparing it for. And you're not going to do the whole alphabet. Yeah. You probably get up to C or D or E or F. Warm it up a little yep. bit. So. Mm -hmm. All right. The final thing now. The first two things we call them quick wins um, because we try to come up with things that give you the most benefit for the least amount of effort. Sure. So this this uh, number five is also a quick win. Uh, basically, before you get out of bed, you're going to want to make sure you put some shoes on or some slippers on, mm -hmm. but especially slippers with some good arch support. Right. Not the flat ones. Not the that flat just ones. Have a little yeah. Fluff on there to keep your feet warm. Because and this is even people have asked in the middle of the night. Yes, in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. Now in the middle of the night, you're probably not going to do all the stretches, <laughs> but uh, it, you can, you know, stretch it and uh, actually break it open again in the middle of the night. Sure. And and, and there you go. You're behind right. already. Yes, yeah, so it's nice to have a pair, of, a nice slip on slippers that are easy to put on. Yeah, you could even take an old pair of tennis shoes that still have pretty good arch support yep. and take the the, the uh, laces out mm -hmm. of it. Sure. And it'll be just easy to slide on and, and, and you're you're good to go. Yeah. I just had a patient right now, Brad, that I, I've had to recommend this. Sure. Uh, that, and this is the same that's true Again, if you're working in your office and and or maybe even driving for two hours before you get out of your car, make sure you're gonna have good art support, but also you might do the stretch sure. before you even get out of the out of the car so right. that you it, you can prepare. do it with your shoe on. Yep, you, know, you can do it with your shoe on. Hopefully you got a, a flexible enough sole where it will allow the stretch. All right, well, you want to watch the rest of the series, go to bobandbrad.com. It's under the plantar fascia pro, free plantar fascia program. There you go. Thanks.